Yes, it can make you tremble, the preaching of the cross, and your knuckles will turn white on the seat in front of you when the invitation is given, but you won't come because you feel that you have to do something to get ready. There's a new book by Professor Donald Peel. He says old age is not the religious stage of life. We usually think of old people getting religion, but that's not true. Like the old grandmother who was reading her Bible and the little granddaughter was asked by a friend, said, what's your grandmother doing? And the little granddaughter said, well, she's studying for our finals. And many of us think of it that way. When I get older, when things get a little bit different, I get a little more mature, I'll give my life to Christ. But he said that old age is not the religious stage of life. If there's any such development phase, it happens with children of the seven to nine years bracket. He said if there's a religious age in our lives, it's between seven and nine. But I notice in nearly every crusade we hold that the age of the people that come forward to receive Christ is between 18 and 22. That seems to be the age of commitment. That's the age when we're making a commitment about vocation, about marriage, about life's values. And it's the age that we make our commitment about religion. And then it decreases till you get to be about 50 and only a small handful in any crusade beyond 50 ever come to Christ. Why? Because you have hardened your heart. And the scripture says you can so harden your heart that when the Holy Spirit speaks, you cannot hear any longer. Your conscience is dead. It needs to be resensitized. And when you come to Christ, your conscience can be resensitized.